I know many of you might feel invisible or overlooked. Like no one sees your struggles. Like you are shouting into the void. This is especially true if you're a Christian on social media. And I've been there recently, just last week. All I could do was to ask, dear God, I did everything I could and nothing changed. Where did I go wrong? Even though Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 was close to my heart, ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. For the longest time, I didn't fully understand it because it hadn't happened in my own life. But that's until recently. So let me tell you my side of the story. For those who haven't seen my last video, I'll link it in the description below. Here's what happened. I've started taking my YouTube channel seriously in January 2024, really putting in the work. But my views and interactions, they were painfully low. I was creating content that I thought mattered, but the engagement just wasn't there. I also noticed something strange. Some of your lovely comments appeared in my creator dashboard, but never appeared on my public page. So I reached out to Google support three times, only to be told that I was an isolated case and nothing could be done. Honestly, I felt disappointed and discouraged for continuing my work. Even though I felt helpless, instead of giving up, I did the only thing I thought would work. I put it in God's hands. I said, Lord, this is your work, your business, so please help me because I can't do it on my own. And then something incredible happened. After posting that last video and asking for your prayers, God opened the window overnight while the algorithm was asleep. He brought 2,000 views to my channel. 2,000! Can you believe it? To give you some perspective, I usually get 100 to 200 views a month. <laughs> That's after pestering all my friends to engage with my content. So this was all God and I couldn't believe it. So thank you, thank you, thank you again for everyone who prayed for me. I don't know many of you personally, but God knows your heart and he sent you to me right when I needed you the most. I am very grateful. This reminds me of the story of the woman who was bleeding for 12 years and when she touched Jesus' garment, he knew instantly, but he still asked, who touched me? So I always wonder why. And the only answer that I could find is that he wanted people to witness that miracle so more would believe. God works miracles in front of others so they can see and believe. I guess after this miracle, I've learned two important lessons. One, is to lower my expectations, but never lower my faith. I used to have big dreams for this channel, but now I see that even if I reach just one person and lead them to Jesus, that's enough. So if you ever feel small or insignificant, know that God can do big things through small moments. And the second thing I've learned is that I need to learn how to ask for help. I'm not the one to ask for help, but this experience taught me that God wants us to lean on Him and on each other. So if you ever feel alone talking about God on social media and nothing feels right, keep pushing. Even if you feel like you can't push anymore, do it and ask for help from God. God is always there, right on the edge of your struggle, waiting to catch you. He loves to perform miracles in front of others. So they know it couldn't have been done by human hands. And maybe that's why he didn't answer me until now. So today I want to share with you three simple practices that help me stay motivated and connected to God, even though nothing seemed to be going my way. So the first one is whenever I feel the urge to scroll, I spend five to 10 minutes reading the Bible instead. Little by little, those moments add up and my time with God's word increases. And what I discovered was God always uses what you've just learned to help others. So the more you know, the better God can use you. On social media, it seems like everyone has 
a perfect life. Flawless vacations, picture-perfect families, successful careers, and everything is always looking up. It can feel like they have it all figured out. And we might even start believing they are truly happy. Then we compare ourselves and wonder if we are the only ones struggling or falling behind. You know what I'm talking about. And that is how easily we fall into the trap Satan has set for us. But in reality, it's all just a front. More often than not, I found that the truth is quite the opposite. When people open up and share how hard they've had to work for those things, the struggles they face and the sacrifices they continue to make, I find myself stepping back in quiet gratitude, thanking God for my own small challenges and concerns. Though I enjoy texting, I started prioritizing face-to-face -face conversations with friends and family, rather than relying on social media where everyone seems to have no problems. I don't know, when you speak with people in person, they seem to be more open, more real. There's a depth to those interactions that you just don't get through the screen. Boldness on social media! <laughs> Where I once kept quiet about my faith, now I'm all in. My friends might think I'm a little out there with all my posts about God, but if they're reading them, even if they don't agree, I'm happy. For them, I'll remain the crazy Christian girl until they realize they want to try God for themselves. And so, my friends, I challenge you to try these three tips and see for yourself how they transform your walk with God. It always works. Keep strong. And please remember to come back and let me know how it goes for you. Even if it feels like no one is listening, someone is. Sometimes God makes us work hard just for that one person. But trust me, that one person is worth it. Just think of the story with the 99 sheep. Jesus left the other ones just so he can save the one. So stay bold for Christ, my friend. We are in this together. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. And important to mention, if I don't reply to your comments, just know that I didn't see them. I don't delete your comments. Not even the ones against me. So before posting, just make sure to save your comment in a note so you can repost it if you don't see it visible. I recently got another message from saying, We all just go poop. This problem doesn't exist at all. And that being said, please continue to support my channel. I really appreciate you. God bless you.